Following the upset of the tournament against the US, it was already crystal clear the Germans had one of the top basketball powerhouses on the planet, but they weren't done there. Capping off the World Cup with a perfect 8-0 record against Serbia in the championship game, future Toronto Raptor Dennis Schroeder scored a game-high 28, Orlando Magic up-and-coming wing Franz Wagner dropped 19, and Olympia Milano center Johannes Voigtman chipped in 12. The Euroleaguer and Voigtman also tallied game highs in rebounds with 8 and assists with 3, and was the Germans' leader in boards per game throughout the tourney. We're going to fully break down how Germany won the first World Cup in their country's history, at the head of the snake fueling Germany to something the nation hadn't accomplished up to this point. 10-year NBA veteran and now 2023 World Cup MVP Dennis Schroeder averaged team highs in points and assists per game throughout this tournament. On the verge of turning 30, with the German flag on his back, Dennis was a definitive menace in the cup clinching game. Early with Serbia rightfully concerned about his speed, this opened up room for a hezzy double tween and step back combo from distance, followed by a heavily contested spot up deep range bomb from 30. In a tie game directly before half, Dennis anticipates kick out, lunges out with his 6'7 wingspan for the steal, and springs up for a one handed jam, hyping up the German bench. The driving lane would then open up with the Serbs adjusting their game plan in the second half, so Dennis pulls off a step back tween and momentum to his offhand, getting him to the cup. Man's a blur. Next, he goes into the momentum cross, changes speeds, and goes momentum cross in the other direction on the move, getting him just enough space for a flash to the bucket and finish. This man Dennis scored over 33% of Germany's points in the World Cup clinching effort. Just a damn timely and clutch performance. After he would have a viral disagreement with head coach Gordon Herbert, where Herbert aggressively told him to sit down for a timeout, it was nice to see Schroeder and Gordon hash things out by hugging it out in the World Cup celebration. Herbert would describe Schroeder's impact following the championship, saying, We would not be here without him, and he would not be here without the team. I think the biggest thing with this team is that we've enjoyed being here. I can't say enough about Dennis Schroeder and what he's meant for German basketball. I think Dennis would tell you first that this is a team first thing. Coincidentally, a former assistant head coach for Schroeder's future team in the Toronto Raptors, Gordon had the services of a German legend, as in all of the 2015 Eurobasket Championship, the 2017 Eurobasket Championship, the 2019 World Cup, the 2022 Eurobasket Championship, and of course, the most recent 2023 World Cup, Schroeder's averaged at the very least 19 points and 5 assists per game. However, just as Coach Herbert said he would, Dennis spoke about the team in the aftermath of the win, stating, this is an unbelievable group. Coach did a great job bringing us together. Our defense and how we play as a basketball team is just special. Schroeder was one of four players in this tournament to finish top 15 in both points and assists per game, next to Luka Doncic, Shea Gilgis Alexander, and Josh Giddy. While Dennis was named the tournament's most valuable player, Orlando Magic rising phenom on the wing, Franz Wagner, who was joined by brother Mo another top German contributor in this tournament, was named player of the game in the cup clinching W. Displaying meteoric off-the-dribble mechanics for a man that's 6'10", Franz got the action started by flying down the lane and finishing with nifty Euro steps. Going from the paint to the perimeter, he receives the DHO from Bro, steps back, tweens, and pulls up with just a few inches of room to work with. Germany is going to run a split action set with Franz posting up and dishing near the left corner. Brother Mo sets the cross screen. Franz finds Andreas Obst, who takes a dribble and knocks down the midi. This first on ball from Tice doesn't do much, so Franz goes with a hezzy cross, draws gravity, and finds Voigtman in the corner for the high arc and triple. For Orlando in the National Basketball Association last season, Franz had a breakout sophomore campaign where he averaged career highs in points at 18.6, assists at 3.5, steals at 1, field goal percentage at 48.5, and 3-point percentage at 36.1. Wagner is both speedy and strong at 6'9", 225, which serves him ideally for the modern NBA. Franz is the prototype new breed of combo forward who can put it on the deck, space the floor, and has the much-needed versatility to either create off the bounce or set picks to open up space for those creating off the bounce. 
We'll get right back to the German side, but for the opposing Serbian team, they'd unfortunately suffer a loss to one of their top forwards in Ognan Dobric during the first three minutes of the game. Just another blow for them given they had lost Bariza Simonic against South Sudan just prior to the quarterfinals. Shout out to Serbia though, who may have suffered a heartbreaking L in the finals, but were winners in so many ways themselves. But there's no excuses in the World Cup, so we have to give all the respect in the world to Planet Earth's current champs in the Germans, who had an innovative strategy in order to put themselves in this position that other countries like the United States should take notes on. Because Germany put forth a plan to request its top talent from across the world to make a three-year allegiance to the national team with their focus geared towards this 2023 World Cup, along with the 2024 Paris Olympics. This was the second year of that plan, and it evidently worked out to perfection, as Germany became the fifth consecutive World Cup champion to go undefeated. They couldn't get it done with NBA legend Dirk Nowitzki, the greatest shooting big man of all time, but Dirk helped build up the German program to where it is now, and took the time to tweet out some German words of approval for what his nation accomplished. Dirk's fellow Deutschland legend and Dennis who were hoping in Toronto will translate his World Cup success over to the NBA, went in depth on his journey with this German team, saying, It's been a long ride. I've been here over 10 years, last year winning the Eurobasket bronze medal, and then coming in here and going 8-0, it's an unbelievable group. We started at the end of July being together, coach did a great job of bringing us together. To win a gold medal is a blessing. We wrote history. Dirk Nowitzki is one of the best four men ever who changed the game of basketball and was an NBA champ. So much respect for this guy. I was honored to play with him in 2015 at the European Championship, and surpassing that is a great achievement. This World Cup win was a redemption for Germany, as its first ever MVP in the tournament was Dirk in 2002, with his team being eliminated by Manu Ginobili in Argentina in the semifinals that year, just over 20 years later, and what Dirk started was finished by Dennis. Gordon Herbert would sum that up nicely by stating quote unquote, Dirk was before, Dennis is now. This tournament run from the Germans was about as dramatic as it can get, as Team Latvia was one shot away from beating them in the quarterfinals, and their dramatic upset over an American team with all NBA players also came down to the wire. The championship game was no different, but the lead man intruder was there to lead his troops with timely advice, intensity, and clutch daggers when his nation needed it. But in the aftermath of victory, it's evident the entire German roster and coaching staff displayed the utmost amount of mental fortitude and heart, which was most important in wheeling them over the top when tight finishes got nerve-wracking. From a Canadian Raptor fan's perspective, I'm happy Team Canada won its first ever medal, winning bronze, and am thrilled for Dennis and his family for winning gold, plus can't wait to watch him in person in the six. There was speculation about Dennis coming off the bench for the Raps, but he has to be the starter for us after what he just did for Germany. But this moment is all about the Germans basking in the moment, as they should celebrate their nation winning its first gold medal ever. A once in a lifetime accomplishment, albeit one that coach Herbert, lead man Schroeder, and all of team Germany will look to repeat at the 2024 Olympics in Paris. But let me know your thoughts on Germany going the distance and becoming champions of the world. DFlow signing off.